everybody, this is Praxis, and I think I'm going to be able to finish up this structure's uh, exterior boarding today. Uh, the south wall's done, the uh, east wall's done, uh, this is the west wall here. North wall is all set, with the exception of uh, just one piece about this width needs to be uh, thrown on the end there. If it was any more narrow than this, I probably would have uh, reduced the width of the previous board so that I could extend this out a little. You don't really want your corner piece to be too narrow. This is yeah, you know, it is adequate. This will this will do. But any thinner than this, and I would have wanted to uh, trim down the board prior to it. But anyway, all that's really left is what you see here, from here over, uh, and doing the corner. I do have uh, the piece for around the door. It's sitting over there. It's ready to go up. Uh, I've been doing uh, silicone glue caulking around uh, the door and the windows, uh, so I wanted to make sure that had a good amount of time to dry. That's been sitting there since yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to finish this up. And then the next uh, step after that is starting to uh, do pile management. This is the last major pile of lumber. I guess I've got one down over there, but this is a you know pretty big pile. Uh, and I wanted to do this structure first because I wanted to find out how many of these exterior wall boards I needed for this. After that, I've got some other plans for what remains. Uh, one thing is that I can use these exterior wall boards for the trim around the windows on the inside of the house, uh, you know, kind of the, the top and the sides. Uh, so uh, what I would think I'll do is pull the nice pieces out of here, because you want those to look a lot nicer inside your house. I'll pull the nice pieces out of here and probably get them cut to length, um, at least roughly, and then set aside. So I know exactly how many I need and I've got them all kind of cut up and those can be dry in the greenhouse. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, what I want to do with what remains is uh, also on the entryways of, these, uh, of this house, there's two entryways, uh, on the ceiling where you kind of step in out of the rain, you're underneath the greenhouse roofing, um, uh, and you're in front, uh, in the front door, ready to go in. Over your head at the moment is just a piece of foam that prevents air from blowing up and inside the greenhouse. I never finished that part, uh, as well as the uh, the back wall when you kind of walk in. The, essentially, the entire entryways of each side are not done. They were made weather tight, but they are they're not finished. So I need more of these for that. Uh, once I kind of finish uh, those two projects, I'm gonna kind of get a sense of what I have left and then start thinking about the uh, woodshed because whatever's left uh, of this is going to get used on the woodshed. Uh, the woodshed's going to be a post and beam structure um, uh, but you still want to kind of tie those posts and those beams together with some kind of a rigidifying skin. Now you, I want to let a lot of air uh, move through there but I still want some kind of a skin to kind of rigidify the thing, uh, make it so that it's, uh, you know, not going to be wiggling back and forth or whatever. So, and that's what these boards are going to be used for. So, uh, you know, I've, I've kind of like set my priorities. I absolutely wanted to make sure I had enough for this. And then I want to use these for, you know, my window trim. I want to use these for what remains on the house over there. And then what's left, I'll figure out for the woodshed. If I need extra stuff, I'm, I've got one more order of lumber that I'm going to be putting in. Uh, with, uh, you know, COVID and everything, uh, we are seeing pretty high lumber prices right now. So I want to try to minimize how much lumber I'm buying. I was actually fairly fortunate. Usually I'm really unlucky. Whenever I'm buying lumber, it's like the worst time. It's like after Hurricane Katrina, I'm buying lumber. After, you know, whatever, I'm buying lumber. This time, I finally dodged the bullet on one of these things. And, um, uh, you know, I'm trying to minimize how much I buy right now because lumber is pretty pricey. So if I can avoid buying at the peak, you know, why not do that? So that's the plan. Finish up this today and then, uh, you know, start figuring out how to diminish this lumber pile and and get it used to where it uh, where it needs to be, and then I really want to get working on that wood uh, woodshed uh, over there because uh, you know I want, I want my firewood to be drying all summer. Last last winter I had a lot of damp wood, and you know it's no fun. Uh, you know trying to heat your house with damp wood, you're always trying to add extra air to it. It's not working for you as well as it could. It's not giving you the heat that it uh, you know should be when it's damp. So I'd really like to have some dry wood for next winter. So here in early spring, I'm already thinking about next winter. That's about being a prepper. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.